Hey, this is Mike from Death Cap Amplification, uh, making this quick little video to show how I added a digital meter to my Variac model number TDGC-1KM. Uh, these are readily available on Amazon and eBay. Uh, I don't know if this exact wiring is going to be the same on every model, uh, but for this particular model, I can show you how I wired it in. It's basically two wires uh, that go in and get soldered to parts inside of this little front panel, which I'll take off here in a second. And uh, two wires from the meter itself to the little unit that actually um, shows the display of the amps, how many amps uh, the device, any device that's plugged into this is drawing. So let me get this opened up and show you guys. Okay, I've got the two screws here unscrewed, which are the ones that mount this front panel onto the Variac. Should have showed this when I actually installed it because I just did this one the other day. I've installed this same meter on a couple of other units as well. Uh, I build amplifiers, service amplifiers, and actually added this meter to a friend of mine's as well. So let me show you how it's wired in. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this printed on little wiring diagram to the meter is actually printed upside down. So I hot glued the meter to the top of this uh, front panel here. Uh, but just keep in mind that this little reset button here is actually on the right side. Okay. So you, you don't want to glue it on, uh, on the wrong side. Uh, this meter, this, sorry, this diagram will be upside down. So there's four screws here on this meter and, uh, starting from the bottom, the red and black are these right here that go to this little unit that unclips. You can see how it unclips here. Uh, this comes with the meter that I purchased. I think they sell these meters even cheaper uh, for maybe 10 bucks without this. But this is important to me because I want to see how many amps uh, a particular amplifier or piece of gear is drawing, right? So... Uh, this thing just gets wired from red on the very bottom, then black on the next up, right? And then you clip this around the main yellow wire, which is actually, it's a really thick yellow wire, which is actually going straight into the Variac transformer, right? So all you got to do is pop this little thing here. I'm going to show you. Pop this right on over top of the meter, and it sort of snaps in place there so this thing just gets snapped on whoops hold on give me one second there we go so that's like that and then i just kind of put this in here where there's space allowed and then you need two other wires the other two uh, i just used a piece of yellow wire here it doesn't matter what the color is obviously um, but i used a piece of yellow wire oh Sorry, I wasn't zoomed out for you guys to see this. I'm just making this video really quick as a reference. So, sorry. So, the top screw here is the yellow wire that I added, and that goes to the left lug when you're looking at the back of this thing um, of the uh, switch, the on-off switch, right? So, that way, when you are switching the unit on, that brings power to this actual digital meter. And one thing to keep in mind about these digital meters is the screen won't come on until you turn your Variac up to at least 50 volts, maybe 55-ish volts. So you want to make sure that um, it, you won't see a screen when you first turn it on until you dial up the amp or device that you have plugged in to 50, between 50 and 60 volts, I'd say. Then this screen will come on and illuminate. So don't think that it's broken. You just have to get it up to the right amount of volts for this thing to actually start working, okay? Uh, so yeah, this yellow wire, which is in the top top screw right here, that gets soldered here. There's other two other wires that are already attached to this thing. In this model, it's a blue and a red. But just remember, it, oh, and there's actually a black one here too. But it's it's actually that to the switch. Then the other wire, it, which I added here, is a green one. It's actually green with a yellow stripe. Again, it doesn't matter what color you use. But this thing goes all the way down. Uh, let me take this off so you can actually see where that one's going. This one goes down to the uh, IEC outlet, you know, the actual plug outlet. 
and gets soldered to the very bottom lug of this thing, right? So there's a, there's a top, and then there's one on the right, and then there's a bottom. So the second screw here, take a wire, run it down to the very bottom and solder that on. That actually is also connected to this yellow one, which we connect this thing around, and a red wire right here that goes to the internal analog meter, okay? So that's it, that's all you need to do. Um, again, I don't know if this is gonna work, the same wiring for every type of variac, but these variacs are very common and I've added this same meter to several of these and it's always been the same thing. Even if you know one of the colors might be different, like I think I had one where uh, this black wire here was a different color, uh, but it was the same exact setup and wiring. So, so yeah, again, just a quick recap. Very top screw here, when you have this thing upside down, take and run a wire to the left lug of this on-off switch, right? Take another wire, which is this green and yellow striped one, to the bottom and solder it to the bottom and make sure not all these other wires that are already connected stay connected to the bottom of this, which is the, the plug, you know, that you would plug something into. And then take the third screw down is the black wire, which is the, the common wire for this uh, current meter that gets wrapped around this yellow wire that goes into the actual variac. And then the red, of course, is the same thing. So it's black, red. So I have the two wires up top, which you wire into here and here, and then black and then red on the bottom, which is this thing. And again, just take, uh, just take this meter here or this device and just snap it around the, as long as it's the yellow wire is going through it it'll be able to measure how many amps the current that's going through your device so basically i just take this and as i close this up there's a little space that i can put this in and then screw the front panel back on another thing to keep in mind is that i did use a, a drill to do a pilot hole it's something like this right Drilled a pilot hole right here, and then I used a stepper bit like this to widen the hole and put a rubber grommet just to keep the wires together. Uh, and that way I uh, hot glued the meter to the actual unit. Okay, I've got the front panel back on here. And just one thing I wanted to note about these Variax uh, made in China, I think these guys... The, yeah, made in China. These guys are definitely not accurate. Um, I've done this mod to add the digital meter to several of these units, and they've always been much higher than where the actual arrow is on this dial. So uh, you might even be able to take this off and adjust it. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. So, yeah, you can unscrew this and actually reposition it to the right spot. But right out of the box when you buy these things... This blue piece of blue tape is actually 120 volts. Uh, so you can see it's right around 106, which is the 120. So if I had plugged an amp in and I went up to what I thought was 120, I'd probably be shocking it with about 135 volts, which would not be good for the amp and the bias of the amp that's plugged into it. It would probably be too much and uh, you'd be potentially having problems. So. I just think the digital meter is a better way to go because you cannot trust these analog meters here either. They're not very accurate and they don't even have a really good gauge. This green section here just says 110, right? So like, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean that the high end of that is actually 120? So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Uh, and it's only 10 or 20 bucks to add one of these meters. Uh, here in 2024 so let me show you this so uh when i turn it on and i have the the very set to zero volts you don't see any screen coming on so now i'm turning it up it's at about 30 or 40 volts 50 when it gets to 50 it'll start to blink turn this light out and then as soon as you get it up around 50 to 60 ish somewhere around there yeah, here we go, 51 volts. It takes about 50 volts before it has enough power for this uh, screen to actually turn on. 
So I don't have anything plugged into it right now, but let's do that. Okay, so here is a little uh, tube preamp that I built that's uh, cloning uh, essentially the Model T, the Sun Model T preamp. I'm going to get this up to 120-ish volts. My wall voltage here is about 123. Um, a friend of mine's is 115, I want to say. So it really does vary anywhere between 115 to 125. And I like this because it can keep the voltage constant. Uh, but yeah, let me turn this tube preamp on. It's only got two tubes. It doesn't draw many amps at all. Uh, but once it starts to warm up here, whoops, I didn't have it plugged into the Variac. Sorry, give me one second, guys. Here we go. Let's plug it into the Variac. It's only drawing for two tubes on this thing about 0.124 amps. So that is a very important thing for me to know. Uh, I don't really care too much about the energy, power factor, that kind of thing. You can see it's 60 cycles. Um, but yeah, I, I love having this very act because I can really see what's going on with the digital meter and not be guesstimating based on some analog dial, right? Uh, so yeah, you can see this is a very low draw, uh, current drawing amp. Well, it's actually a preamp, so it's only got two tubes that is powering. But uh, you'll know that if the amperage is very high, that there's probably an issue inside of the amp that you're working on or building. Yeah, so that's how to do install quick digital meter. And wherever I post this, I'll try to post the uh, model of uh, the digital meter where I got this on Amazon. You can buy these Variax on Amazon as well. And you can see that model number is right there. And uh, this digital meter is, I think, around 20 bucks. The one with that has the uh, monitoring the current. So hopefully that helps some of you guys.